Hey guys, I'm Vince. And I'm Liz. And this is season three of I Lemon Eats. Let's eat. You guys, it's takeout edition, and we are about to show you not just any takeout, but the best takeout. <laughs> really good takeout. The type of takeout you're gonna crave and wanna go back for, but these restaurants are a little bit off the beaten path. Don't worry, we're gonna show you where to go. So one thing that's great about eating out during COVID times, you can find parks like this right. to eat and enjoy. So Liz, what do we have here? Okay, you guys, if you love authentic Chinese or dim sum, and you live in West Michigan, or you're visiting here, you've got to check out Weiwei Palace. Yes. Now, and it's- Fun fact, is right next to Po Sun Trunk. Exactly. So let's say one person wants Vietnamese food, one person wants Chinese, you get takeout from both, happy family. And the market wasn't open, so we didn't get to film it. Yeah. But there is a cool little market inside as well. It's pretty big to find a lot of like your cool little goodies. Like Chinese broccoli, you can get the dumplings frozen. Exactly. You need so. more sriracha or soy sauce. Everything you need is right there. Oh yeah. We would typically go and they would serve these dishes in carts, but now we get takeout. But the great thing is you can still get everything to go. So here we've got their signature dish. It's a spicy squid with salt and pepper. This is Chinese broccoli. These are two types of dumplings. So we've got shark fin dumplings and shrimp dumplings. And we got some chili paste. You guys, it's so good. We go here every year for Mother's Day, all the generations of women in my family. Yeah. And we get one of those big tables and you just like, it's meant to be shared. This isn't the type of thing where like, don't touch mine, you get yours. No, no, no. We're all gonna get a bunch of food and we're all gonna share it. Cause that is the best part about dim sum. Yes. You ready for a bite? I'm ready for a bite. Mm. Good, right? Mm -hmm. How do you like it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pro tip, if you're getting food to go, ask for some hot sauce, ask for some soy sauce. You know, you're gonna, gonna kinda make sure you get everything you need. I wanna give a little shout out to restaurants that aren't serving American food. Like when you kinda leave the chain restaurants, what you start to see is flavor in the form of heat. I feel like so much, so many American restaurants, they're afraid for heat. Yep. As a restaurant owner, why are people get, not giving me the heat then? I mean, I think it's to protect your base, right? You're afraid that uh, your American counterparts will enjoy the food how it is authentically. Right. And so sometimes it's hard to, to do both. And yeah. Places like this, they cater to one person, uh -huh. one person only. People who want authentic, good eats. So growing up, we used to go to San Francisco, Chinatown, and I would sit down with my whole extended family. We'd have like two big tables. And when I come to Weiwei Palace, I feel like I'm back in San Francisco, Chinatown. It's authentic, it's the real deal, and I just can't recommend it enough. You've gotta go there if you like dumplings, if you like fried rice, if you want squid, chicken, beef, pork, whatever you're in the mood for, I promise you there's something for everyone on their menu. Where can you get better food than this? Nowhere, Vince. I only take you to the good places. That's what's the best part about being my friend. So I showed you my two places. Yep. You showed you my, uh, your two places. And now we got one more place to go to. Yeah. And it's started for this one. Two more. He's forgetting. You have two more? <laughs> Is it one more? Vince, welcome to West Michigan. We got a lot of good food to hit up. Oh, my God.